Hi guys, I'm camping outside. Uh, it's almost awake. Um, you know, the summer is campsite is really busy. I, sometimes it's just hard to uh, book the site with electricity. Um, so this site is no electricity and uh, I'm just using the battery to power the unit. So since I have, uh, you know, many uh, green work 80 volt battery i also have a eco 56 volt battery so i just use those battery to power my uh, rv trailers and uh, you can see the so this is a trailer i have okay and uh, but normally you know uh, you need a 12 volt to power up the lights and the water pump, uh, even refrigerator as well. Uh, I, I use my uh, 12 volt power station. I mean, the 12 volt convert to uh, to either use the green work battery or eco battery to get your power, uh, 12 volt power and power up everything. Turns out it's worked really well, and I can show you the setup. Okay, this is uh, my uh, whole setup. Uh, you see I have many green work batteries, and I also have eco uh, batteries. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is, uh, you see right here, that's my, uh, right here, that's my uh, 12 volt, that's my uh, 12 volt inverter. Right now, I just link to current work 80 volt batteries. So the 80 volt will be converted to a 12 volt. And then 12 volt will be connect direct to the power. Uh, I use uh, uh, I use uh, I use uh, XT60 connector. Uh, you can directly connect them together. Um, I use this because I have another, uh, you know, 12 volt battery also has a XT60 connector. So that's why I just. Uh, uh, link in this way <laughs> So what I found out each of this battery can last about two days uh, Just support the lighting and uh, water pump it will support for two days uh, And uh, if, if sometime I need to use uh, you know AC power I, I just turn on this uh, ego a power station to uh, get me a uh, uh, 120 volt AC power but normally you don't want to use this because if you just use this bigger one uh, it kind of waste a lot of energy uh, you have to uh, you know convert uh, your uh, battery power goes to the 120 uh, AC power and the 120 AC power linked to your union will convert back to the 12 volt power to support, you know, general electricity in your uh, RV trailer. So that's, you know, the whole converting things will be wasting a lot of energy. So that's why uh, for the green work, I only bring this uh, 12 volt uh, power station. My 12 volt power station. Uh, you can use the green work pad. Uh, you can use a ego battery with my 12 volt power station as well. It's the same thing, same links. So in this way, you're more efficient because you only need to convert the you know battery power to the 12 volt. So think about this uh, little converter right here compared to that big one right there. I mean, this is definitely not using that much energy. I mean, not waste 
that much energy for your whole system. And this can also, because since this is a 30 amp current, I mean, they can support 30 amp current of the 12 volt. So this actually can support your refrigerator as well. So if I turn on the refrigerator to the, you know, battery power, it will still work. I'll do this. Yeah. You can see right now it's on the battery power, which is powered by the green world 80 volt batteries with my 12 volt converter. Um, so, see I have many uh, frozen yogurts. It's still very hard, you know. Yeah. So pretty much uh, in this way, you use your uh, battery is much more efficient. Um, doesn't matter if you use a uh, ground work battery or eco battery. They are uh, just converting to 12 volt. Uh, since it has a 30 amp current, I mean, my uh, 12 volt uh, power station can give a 30 amp 12 volt current. That will support pretty much everything in your unit. Uh, even include the refrigerator as well. But uh, if you actually use a 12 volt on the refrigerator, I mean that little battery definitely won't last long. Uh, it's really depend on how much you use your refrigerator. Uh, like uh, if it's a really hot day, I mean the refrigerator keep running. I mean that, that will, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it lasts very long. Since my refrigerator has a propane options, so right now it's running on the propane, it's not running on the, uh, you know, batteries. <laughs> um, but if it's in a pretty cool day, I mean, I think you probably still can maybe, uh, maybe even include the refrigerator, maybe stay for one day with, uh, you know, ground work batteries. Um, yeah, but those are really depends. So this is the campsite. It's a really great campsite. It's called the uh, uh, Point Beach State Park in the Wisconsin. So, you know, in that way, you know, cross the road. I don't know if you can see the road. Cross the road, another side is just a beach. It is a beach. It can, uh, you know, maybe a hundred yard walking. Oh no. No, not 100 yards, like 50 yards walking. You can get on the beach. Um, the side, like I, <coughs> the problem is, uh, you know, summer is so busy. Um, you know, the side with the electricity will be run out pretty quick. And, you know, this side is, don't have any electricity at all, you can see. I did not hook up anything at all. So, but the regular battery, even though I have two batteries, the two battery won't last for one day. So, so the two battery even not equal with uh, one of my green work batteries. I mean, maybe my battery is old as well. Um, and I have the solar charger, uh, the solar panel. I mean, the, this is a 50 watt solar panel. So this solar panel can only, so this solar panel, so the 50 watt solar panel can only keep the battery in charging. I mean, if you storage your RV, so you don't need to uh, take out the battery and keep them charging. So, so if you don't keep the battery charging, once the battery run out, the battery is dead, you know. So this 50 watt can only doing the keep battery charging but cannot really you know support your RV powers um, think about my uh, 12 volt uh, converter it's uh, over 300 watt because it, it can support 30 amp yeah it's over 300 watt so 50 watt the solar panel <laughs> it doesn't really work that much yeah yeah this is only you know whenever you storage you don't need to 
move out your battery for the charging. You can use the solar panel to charge your battery to make sure the battery is uh, still in the life. Yeah, that's the only thing. And uh, yeah, that's how that works. I have the green work for amp battery. Uh, I pretty much close to uh, Ego uh, 7.5 amp batteries, and those are uh, pretty close. And with those battery, you can you know to generate power uh, support you at least two days. Uh, you know for the lighting, uh, water pump. So when you have water pump, you can take a shower. Uh, those things and uh, and eat. just one little battery can support two days. That's pretty good. That's that's really good actually. Uh, yeah, that's another idea to use my uh, power station. <laughs>